Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Tristangle Company. My name is Sarah Siufi, and in today's video, we will be demonstrating how to invoice your sales orders. You can invoice your sales order either by going to Transactions, Sales, and click Invoice Sales Orders. Here you will choose the customer that you want to invoice. Then choose the sales order and then click on submit or you can use the global search to find your sales order that you want to invoice. As you can see the status of this sales order is pending billing partially fulfilled and that because we fulfilled a part of this sales order and now we will only invoice the fulfilled part. And to see the videos of how to create and fulfill your sales order, please refer to the description. You have two options, either to invoice one of the fulfillment that you did by going to the related records, choose one of the fulfillment process, and then click on bill to only invoice the item under this fulfillment. Or you can go to the sales order, and if you click on the bill from the sales order, you will invoice all the fulfillments that you did. I will click bill from the sales order. In the invoice page, for the invoice number, the system will generate it automatically. In most of the fields will be auto-populated from the original sales order, like customer name, the subsidiary, and location. For the date, NetSuite insert today's days at the posting date of this invoice and you can choose another date. For the posting period, select the period that you want to post this invoice to and if the period is closed, you cannot post this invoice to that period. For the due date, it's depending on the customer terms that we choose before. And for example, if we change the terms, to be net 30, the due date will be changed accordingly. If you have any note, you can write it on the memo field. For the items, as you can see, we will only invoice the items and the quantity that, that we fulfilled before. In the communication subtab, you can attach any file that related to that invoice from the file subtab. And when you finish, click on save. You can see the GL impact of this invoice either by going to actions, GL impact, or from the GL Impact subtab. And now if we go back to our sales order, now the status become partially fulfilled because we fulfill an invoice the first part of our sales order. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Trustangle Team.